the initial boot process. You can see the dries are now securely seated as the gray tabs are over the dry base. Prior to turning on the Drobo, the Drobo dashboard should be installed, the Drobo should be connected to the computer, and you should have a working internet connection. Now you will use the toggle button on the back of the unit to power on the Drobo. Take the faceplate and look at the back of it. Here you will see a guide of the Drobo lights. This is a lot like a traffic light, where red means stop, yellow caution, and green means all systems are go. Please take a moment to review what each light means. Now place the front cover back on. This protects the drives from dust and manages the airflow to keep the drives cool. The lights will go through a series of colors and changes that include the dry bay lights turning yellow, the blue capacity lights flickering inward. During the initial setup process, the Drobo is performing system checks and ensuring the firmware is up to date. You may also refer to the interactive setup guide located on drobo.com forward slash start for additional resources. When the power light is green and all other lights are off, you will notice the blue capacity lights will start to stack one by one. Once this is complete, the Drobo is in the final stages of completing the boot process. When the dry bay lights turn green, the boot process is complete and the Drobo dashboard recognizes Drobo and you will now be guided to format the Drobo. For additional resources, visit myproducts.drobo.com.